industry when you look at the, the car audio aspect of the industry. So down the road here, as the uh, as architect as, as home pro as, as custom integrations become more prevalent, we felt that we certainly needed to be in this category, and that's and we actually got into this category in uh, 2005, which I'll get into here shortly, uh, and we're going to talk about each one of these products. So Scott Whitaker, I don't know if you can see him, he's up there uh, with his 1949 Mercury Curb. Uh, it doesn't quite look like a standard Mercury because Scott never does anything uh, small. He always uh, changes about every aspect of the vehicle. And this, of course, has a shaved uh, or chopped off top of the vehicle, different headlights, grill, uh, of course, different wheels and paint job and so forth. But uh, that's just typically how, how Scott does things. And he was our founder. And over the years of the, of the course of the, of the early days of Dynamat, we really catered uh, a lot to the IASCA uh, the International Auto Sound Challenge guys out there that were competing with their vehicles. And uh, we basically, uh, 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 when I say cater to them, we provided products so that they could use for competition. And uh, that's how we really got our name established out there. And the re reason I'm bringing this up, I think it's important to understand that we certainly had the brand name recognition out there in that particular field that we are, we are starting to uh, really expand and get into the, to the home side. And, uh, a lot of these guys that have come from the car audio end of the business that have migrated into the architectural or to the home side uh, know us from the car side of the business. 